I always look for lower body stability, so that's why I like the toes out and that's sitting into the left quad. I always want to, listen, we're going to be somewhat narrow and not way to left with your body. A lot of times people drop it under if they're left. So Charlie Wee is, if he's got his lob wedge, he's almost straight on with the target, or maybe at the most, I call it like three steps left, like just right there. Always looking for the, we're going to be narrow, we're going to be releasing left, and relative to your body plane, you're going to be a little outside in. So not just the target, but to your body. So I'm always looking for the head of the club to be open and be outside the knuckle there. And I want it delivered the same way. Now it's finesse sequence, so it's not a drive of the legs. And I think this is where your long bunker shot issues come. Is the club starts down same way. The head of the club gets outside the knuckle. And then I always feel like if you put a line under the armpit, any good bunker player is going to release that club close in proximity to their lead hip and under their armpit. And I think you do all those things. Love that. Open and outside knuckle. Start it the right way. That looks great. And the club's just got to pop back out, which it does. And then, you know, should be under the armpit. So if the technique is good, then what's going on in soft and why do you come up short? Well, uh, first off, strategy-wise, in soft sand, you know it's coming out slow. Soft sand, you need more bounce and less loft. So there'll be weeks in the bunker where uh, if they just dump new sand in there, I'll tell my players not even use a 60 degree wedge. It's like everything's 56, like back in the day, uh, you know, Seve didn't even have a 60. So soft sand, we need, darn it, we need, don't forget the 60. And hopefully, you're, you know, there's two valid ways, in my opinion, to control your distance out of the bunker, and that is club head speed and club selection. So first order of business, let's be quick and soft sand to defer to the 56 or 55, whatever it is that you have. And then, uh, you see Tom Pernice here, Just don't be afraid to have a little bit of forward lean unless you're really trying to spin the ball. Uh, see here. I think that's most of it. Now the next thing is when I'm adding speed in the bunker for the longer shot or the soft sand that where it's going to come out slower, I just got to make sure I get my speed the right way. Some people get speed like they would in their golf swing by like through their hips. All right. And we want to get speed by we want arm and club speed passing the stable lower body. So I just got to be really careful that I keep pressure into my quad and I'm doing it with my arms and my hands like that. And you have a lot of release there which I think is good. But obviously a lot of effective loft. I'm going to give you a better model than Tom Pernice there. Uh, a lot of effective loft. You get soft sand, ball's going nowhere. So you know, let's make sure we de we're deferring down. Uh, ben Crane and that's kind of a fuzzy picture of Charlie Wee, but you get the same. It's just very similar to yours. Splash, pressure into that quad, recock the club up. I think the key issue is getting speed the right way and deferring to your 56 quicker. All right, so there ought to be some shots, even if it's a five-yard carry shot and the right sand condition is absolutely a 56 and not a 60.